In today's video, I ask all the new Primaris Space Marines hurt and sales of some other armies in Warhammer 40,000. Hi folks, and welcome back to the channel. Our local gaming group has a WhatsApp chat group, and other than the fact that it's constantly alerting me to a new message every 30 seconds, both day and night, I find it a great place to find out the latest Games Workshop rumours and chat. This means I don't have to troll through the internet to find everything out. Some of the guys are very heavily into the hobby, and you can be sure as soon as there's a rumour, we're all chatting about it. The idea for this video came from a chat we had over the weekend. Someone posted a link to a rumoured release list of Warhammer 40,000 codices from now until the end of the year. In August was Grey Knights and Chaos Space Marines, and we now know that this is correct as Games Workshop has confirmed this. The list went on naming some months with two codex releases and one month with only one release. This was Death Guard. Now my assumption, assuming this is correct, and that months with only two codices be codex only months, and month with only one codex Death Guard, will mean a host of new releases to go with that codex. So if my assumptions are correct, this would mean that of the 10 new codices that have been released before the end of the year, only Space Marines and Death Guard will be getting any new models. Now this makes sense as these are the two starter box armies, much in the same way as Stormcast Eternals and Corn Bloodbound did for Age of Sigmar. Now that also means that whilst we have the new Primaris Marines, there doesn't seem to be an equivalent for Chaos Space Marines. I know of at least one person who's been hoping for some new Chaos Space Marines to start an army for 40k. He's held off on the hope of some new minis coming. If this is right and he's not getting any, not only has he not bought any models yet, but he's now not going to buy a Chaos Space Marine army at all. Others are holding off starting anything new as they're waiting to see if anything comes along with the launch of their new codex, and so are holding off buying any models right now. If the rumoured codex list is right, then that also means there's no Orc, no Dark Eldar, and no Space Wolves codices coming this year. Now we all know that these are very popular armies, and not bringing the codices out this year means a lot of people may put purchases on hold, waiting to see what the codex brings, but also in the hope of some new models. Now whilst from what I understand, Games Workshop absolutely smashed it with the sales of Dark Imperium, and the new Primera Space Marine kits seem to be selling really well too. I'm pretty sure they're not exactly worried about this issue. However, I do wonder what this means for your average gamer. Hardcore tournament guys will always buy the new units and new codices to make sure they're ahead of the gaming meta. But your average gamers, people like me, all new players may feel a little in limbo. Do I buy that start collecting box for Tau knowing there's a new codex coming soon? Or do I wait? What if there's new models when it drops and the old ones look really poor in comparison? One thing we discussed was that in the future we see normal Space Marines getting more and more pushed into the background as everyone moves over to the new Primaris Marines and start to build Primaris Marine armies. I think that's another reason why people may hold off buying a start collecting Space Marine box for an example. Warhammer 40k 8th edition has brought a lot of new players either into or back into the game and the reset of the game rules rather than an update has been great. However, I can't help but think that the new Primaris Marines are both selling really well and hurting sales of other armies at the same time. Now, all of that said and done, it does feel like a long time till the end of the year with only Death Guard models to look forward to. However, we're still seeing Primaris Space Marines such as the Intercessor Hellblaster kits up for pre-order this weekend, the rumoured Death Guard coming in September, which will probably span a couple of months worth of releases, within it in November, and probably a launch of Shadespire to take us up to Christmas, and another rumour emerging of Mordheim's successor coming at some point. It is actually conceivable that this could be correct. As I mentioned in my video about how 8th edition 40k might be ruining my hobby, I feel like I'm putting building an army on hold, as with everything launching so quickly, I don't want to feel like I've bought something that's going to be replaced. However, I am still really keen to get in and start building and playing, so this really does have me in a bit of a no man's land. It's making me consider changing my army choice to something with a codex releasing coming up more soon, such as Grey Knights or maybe Necrons, which are rumoured to be in December. All I know is that I won't be rushing out and buying anything in the near future 
and that in anyone's book is lost sales. Let me know what you think. Am I just being overly negative about the whole thing? Or do you agree with my opinion? I'd love to hear from you guys who love your 40k to tell me why it's a good thing because I really do want to get involved now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.